I was expecting this uh, for the Super Bowl. And uh, I was going to watch it during the Super Bowl. I actually wasn't going to plan to have a reaction for it because I just wanted to see this already. Jurassic World Dominion finally has an official first trailer. Here we go. <laughs> so I've done a reaction to uh, the prologue for the movie. You can check that out. And I'll say, I say this humbly. You guys really like that one. <laughs> And uh, yeah, that's it's, uh, got a lot of views. I I, I can tell people, it's because people like dinosaurs. <laughs> oh yeah, and I've seen, and I've seen it on the on the internet. A lot of people love to. It doesn't matter how old you get. Once a dinosaur kid, always a dinosaur kid. And uh, yeah, that's that's also me. I still love dinosaurs now. Maybe not as maybe not as much of a hardcore love of dinosaurs as I was as a kid, because as a kid, you know, you're crazy for dinosaurs, but, you know, I'm much older, I'm much older now, still love prehistoric animals, just generally, and maybe I'll do some dinosaur content on this channel, <laughs> or not just dinosaurs, uh, you know, the, the, the creatures before and after the dinosaurs, maybe some prehistoric content, it's something I've been thinking about, so, yeah, I'm, I'm still gonna keep that in mind. I'll see what comes up. But yeah, now we got the uh, official trailer for the movie. Uh, I'm gonna brace myself, because this is gonna be quite the prehistoric event. The, the pre cinematic prehistoric event. Dinosaurs off the island, roaming throughout North America, and new, new cast with the old cast together in this one. This should be a joy, and I'm gonna waste no more time. Let's get to it. I wanted to show them something that wasn't in the ocean. Oh, something that was real. Something they could see. Something that they could. Wait, whoa. Does she have a kid? Does Blue have a kid? We can't keep her here forever. They find out we're never gonna see her again with that protector, that's our job. Humans and dinosaurs can't coexist. <laughs> we created an ecological disaster. I remember that. Is that... Hello, childhood. Come out all this way just to catch up now, did you? You coming or what? There is Xenosaurus. The extinction of our species. Herbivorous but deadly. Oh. nature? We're subordinate to it. It's the, uh... The new raptor, right? What is that? Come back. I always come back. What? Oh, oh now what? It's another plane, right? Not exactly. <gasps> oh my god. You brought those back too? Hey, it's the return of the dialogue. Don't move. <laughs> Can't see if you don't move. Do they always have to go bigger? Oh, it's the Giganotosaurus. This is so surreal. I love it.
I'm, I'm... No matter which theater, I don't care where, I, I don't care where, I don't care which theater, West Coast, East Coast, you might see me at any of them. <laughs> it, like you might be the first one to enter the theater, first day, the first show time, and you'll see me there with my popcorn. It could be anywhere. I don't care. I, I don't care where I am when this movie's out. No matter where I am, I'm gonna. <laughs> all right, enough of the jokes. I, I love this. There's so many di. First of all, there's so many new dinosaurs and the feathers. I'm loving that they finally gave them. They're finally giving them not not just hair like uh, feathers or, or quills or whatever. Feathers. I mean, we, we okay. I already established this when I watched the prologue. Yeah, they did their homework for this one. From what we know in today's uh, discoveries in science, they're going. They're they're being accurate. <laughs> they're they're going. They're trying to go as as accurate or as close to. As, as close to as what we know about prehistoric life for this movie, and and uh, oh what a this I feel like I'm in a dream. Uh, Ellie Sattler, Alan Grant together again, and it's uh, it's really uh, messing with me, and I'm loving it. And good good or bad, I'm not saying this is going to be a good movie. I'm not saying it's going to be a bad movie. No matter what, I I might just l still love it anyway for what it is, because look at what it's doing, look at what it's trying to do. Us dinosaur fans, um, should, uh, w w we all should be very grateful that Colin Trevorrow went, uh, uh that he's doing this, that <laughs> just the accuracy alone, not just the fact that he's bringing back to, to, appe to, to appease to, you know, Jurassic Park fans, uh, by bringing back the old cast mixing it with the new cast, but also, uh, you know, as, as Jurassic Park fans, and I, I'm so on, awestruck by this that I can't even talk. You probably can tell. <laughs> but yeah, as Jurassic Park fans and just regular dinosaur fans and fans of movies, we should all be very grateful, extremely grateful, the direction they're taking. They're really appealing to every fan demographic. Again, Jurassic Park, movies, dinosaurs. And I'm into all three myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad. Uh, I'm, I'm glad we finally got it. The, the prologue just blew my hair back with how amazing it was. Just the first five minutes and now more smaller glimpses of the rest of the movie. Same feeling. I'm just, I'm, uh, so awestruck, so in love with this, and maybe I'm, I maybe I'm overhyping myself. I don't care. <laughs> I, just, I love dinosaurs. All right, I I will be cherishing this for the rest of the day. The fact that we got it finally, and uh, just watch it over and over, and check it out for yourself uh, on your own and. Uh, Check out the prologue if you haven't seen the prologue yet. Check out my reaction to the prologue. Uh, this is exactly what you're seeing right now, my reaction right now. And I will see you at the next react.